Today, we are in the city of Atlanta testing out a brand new camera. It's a $30 toy camera. To put it to the test, I'll be meeting up with friend and fellow creative, Ryan. We'll be pushing this camera to its limits and putting our skills to the test. All to answer the question, does gear even matter? Before we go any further, I need to let you guys in on the specs of this camera. This camera is small. It takes 8 megapixel stills, 1080 video, a clean, minimal design. You get absolutely zero control over your exposure settings. It takes micro SD and has a built-in rechargeable battery. It has tons of creative picture profiles. It even has built-in video games. And you can't deny the superior cinematic colorway of teal and orange. All of this for $30. All right, now let's head into the city and meet up with Ryan. Yo, what's up? What's up, bro? All right, so I wanted to meet up today because I got a brand new camera. Word? It's, it's sick. Canon? Sony? Neither. Cinema camera, like red or something? It's even better, dude. $30 toy camera. I wouldn't say we made it, but we made it through. We just had moose and egg, and we made them do that. I wouldn't say we made it, but we made it. So the unfortunate thing about this camera is there is no thread mount on the bottom to mount it to things, tripods and gimbals. Fortunately, it does just barely fit within a phone clamp, so we're gonna try that out and see if it works. I told the backstabbers put the knife away. I'm trying to get my family to a nicer place. Room for everybody, but no room for hate. Everybody eating off the nice place. That is the nice thing about this little camera is that it is super small and lightweight. So you can kind of like put it in weird spots and like, you know, maneuver it around in different ways. It's, it's almost like an action cam a little bit. Nah, for sure. But you better keep on grinding, keep on rising, keep on shining. They forget then you remind them what we call a perfect timing. But you better keep on grinding, keep on rising, keep on shining. They forget then you remind them. some of the best time lapses as you can see right here. I'm starting to see why you use this camera, man. $30 toy camera. Yo. <laughs> I look like I literally have no body. Like, what? <laughs> Say quality, man. Is this log? Dude, I just is better than log. No! They're not uh, super scary. Okay. It's getting these, like, little crazy micro jitters. All right, we're back here in the studio and that was a super fun shoot. Shout out to Ryan for being a part and you guys definitely need to go check out his stuff. So I'm here at the editing station now, just sort of culling through the footage. And you know, I've gotta be pretty honest with you guys. The footage is actually horrible. It looks really bad. We're gonna try to make something work with it. It's gonna be a challenge for sure. The footage right off the bat looks a little cartoony. It's very blown out all the time, overly sharp, but at the same time, super soft. I don't know. It's going to be interesting for sure, but I'm up for the challenge. We're going to try to edit something really cool. I think the, the actual shots we got are, are composed good and, and they're, they're creative and they're interesting, but at the end of the day, the camera really is not the best. So it will still be a challenge, but I'm up for it. And, uh, you know, we're gonna hop into the edit. But while I'm editing this final result, I do wanna tell you about today's sponsor, Motion VFX. Motion VFX is an awesome resource for creators. It's actually where I get most of my titles, transitions, and animations. They even have awesome tools to help restyle your footage, which is what I'll be using here today, specifically from their pack in music video. I'm interested to see how I can utilize this stuff to help make this you know, very cartoony, cheap, plasticky looking footage kind of have more of an organic feel using their plugins. 
And the awesome thing with Motion VFX is it's as simple as just dragging and dropping. I can find an effect I like, drag it on top of my footage, and I can even layer them for extra effect, and it's super easy to do. They have great tools for freelance videographers, filmmakers, and content creators. And now they don't just offer plugins for Final Cut Pro, they're also offering packs for DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. You can check them out at the link in the description below. Okay, so I just finished editing this footage and I gotta be honest, I'm super surprised with how this turned out. Let's take a look. I mean, that turned out pretty cool. I'm really excited with the final result of this video. Yes, we used a $30 toy camera for all of that stuff, but I think with you know some of the motion VFX plugins and some editing magic, we were able to turn it into something pretty cool. So I'm very excited with how it turned out. All right, so what do I think about this little camera? Well, all in all, I was very surprised, both good and bad. One of the coolest things about it was it was just fun to use. It was, you know, super small, lightweight. You don't really have to think too much while you're shooting with it. So I liked that it took a lot of the technical out of it. But on the flip side, I actually disliked that it took a lot of the technical out of it because when you're doing photography, that's having the control of exposure is such an important part of creating. So it was a little challenging to work with, uh, with it being purely auto. I was pleasantly surprised by the battery life. I think that, you know, it lasted for the full two hours or so that we were shooting. Um, so that's actually pretty impressive for this little camera. The actual footage and the actual photos are pretty bad. <laughs> they're, they're really not good at all, but it was usable. You know, we made something out of it. And I think if you want to get that sort of like cheap look for some aesthetic reason or some creative decision, this is a fun little camera to do it with. But to the real question at hand, does gear matter? I would say yes, but not as much as you think. I think that you can do a lot these days with most cameras. And I think that, you know, a lot of times we tend to use gear as an excuse like, oh, if I only had, you know, whatever camera, then I could make awesome content like so and so and the reality is that's just not the case what it really comes down to is not your production value but your content value it's getting to the substance of what it is that you're making like what topics are you picking you know what is the direction of your video what is it that you're doing you know throughout the video to you know tell a story or to bring transformation to the viewer the gear is is not the thing that's going to deliver that transformation you know it may help you communicate your message or it may help it look nice, but at the end of the day, you've got to figure out as a creator beyond the gear, or rather before the gear, what it is that you're doing and, and who it is that you're talking to. Figure out that stuff and the gear will come over time. One of the ways that you can make lower quality footage look even better is with editing. And one of my favorite editing techniques is using sound effects to enhance the video. If you want to learn how to use sound effects to enhance your video edits, continue on to this video here. I've placed links to you know all of these products in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and as always, stay creative. Peace.